Yes, sir. Rockin' John. Slick as Rick, dope as Ryan, loading up my nine in Northwoods, Cross Street, Pine Line. Catch the sales all the way from Page Deal, Club Shell. And I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard, man. Big bag of beans, geek sampling, phone jumping trampoline, we try to shave up the green. I say. All right, so we got my boy Rock and John jumping off the porch with us today, man. Welcome, bro. Yes, sir. Rock and John, slick as Rick, dope as Ryan, in North Woods, across the street, Pine Line. Catch it says all the way from Page there to Club Shield. Yes, sir. Now that's an intro right there. Yes, Welcome, sir. bro. <laughs> yes, sir. So first off, how we feeling today, man? Man, feeling good as hell, man. Nice little business trip down to the south. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, we were talking off camera, so you just hit Famous Animal, yeah, too. Yeah, shout out Famous Animal. He's real professional, too, man. He, oh, yeah. He's still in the hood, too. His studio's still in the hood, man. Yeah, <laughs> so shout out him, man. Yeah. Nah, that's what's good, man. Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and shout out your people sitting up there with your yeah, thing, too, man. I got my bro down, man. My day one niggas, man. It's my nigga, uh, 70, you know what I'm saying? Rapping, you know what I'm saying? We started this shit. My, my boy Fuego right there. We've been down. 10 plus, and my boy Northside Antichrist, St. Northy right here. You know what I'm okay. saying? We've been down for a minute. Yes, sir. We all do our thing or whatever. They support me good. like a mug. Some real day ones right yeah, there, sir. man. That's what's good, bro. Yes, so sir. you got anything else planned while you're here in Atlanta, or you guys uh, no, out this, with it? Oh, no, this is all we had, man. We just, you know what I'm saying, touching base with y'all, man, so we can, you know what I'm saying, it's the first step. Okay. That's what's good, man. Yes, so, for folks who don't know, you're from St. Louis, man. Yes, sir. From the north side, right? Nah, man. We, I'm from uh, I'm from the county, man. I'm from uh, Paysdale, man. Then we moved okay. northward, so that my two areas, Paysdale, Northwood. But shout out to the north side, shout out to the west side, downtown, okay. south side, east St. Louis. You know what I'm saying? The whole metropolitan area. Gotcha, man. So, what's new in St. Louis these days, man? What's man. really going on up there? Oh, uh, right? shit. We got a whole. It's like a black renaissance going on up there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. We got like all type of arts going on, you know what I'm saying? We got Sexy Red going up. We got, going crazy. you know what I'm saying, Blake Yana. We got Yvette going up, you know what I'm saying? A whole bunch of male rappers going up, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's on the up and running. Right. You know, it's killing all that stuff going on. Yeah. All that's going to come to an end real soon, you know what I'm saying? And we all, everybody's going up, yeah. you know what I'm saying? All around the board. Nah, what's it like to see the music scene blowing up and you guys finally getting some Man, respect in the game it, right yeah, now? Yeah, respect. Like I said, um, we ain't, we ain't had nobody since like Nelly there. They want to like Nelly, Jib, Chingy, them. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it's good to see like we finally, you know what I'm saying, get some traction with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it took so long between Nelly and, you know, up until today well, for, for St. Louis to really have another breakout star like that? Man, I, I, I don't know. I guess it's just time, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Because like uh, St. Louis kind of took like a, a background role with the music. Like, you know what I'm saying? We got a whole bunch of like ghost writers, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. And we had a whole bunch of, like this style influences or whatever, you know what I'm saying, if you will, but nah, like, I don't know, I think it was just time, then like our generation, we just, I think we just that, you know what I'm saying, all these, you know what I'm saying, the 90s, baby, I think it's St. Louis, I think we just that, I don't okay. know. Do you feel like there's a lot of unity in the city right now with the artists, or is it just pretty much everyone doing their own thing? We building it, okay. it's getting there, you know what I'm saying, it's a lot of little, weak little beef, and I hope, see it right now, I mean, I hope y'all just stop the beef, you know what I'm saying, St. Louis, man, like I said, it's, it's embarrassing, you know what I'm saying, our top rappers be, Going at each other and all that stuff. Even the top female rappers, be, you know what I'm saying? Not like yeah. that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's, you know, hopefully, hopefully it's, it's getting there, though. It's, okay. it's getting better. It's way better than it was a couple years ago. Okay, that's what's mm -hmm. good, man. I love to hear that type of shit, yeah, too, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. All right, so, you know, going back to your childhood, like, what were you into as a kid? Were you always into music? Were you playing sports? What was you doing? Man, oh, uh, it was sports, sports and music. Like I said, uh, I started hooping, you know what I'm saying? Basketball, baseball, like, probably like six, seven years old, you know what I'm saying? I did that all the way up to, you know what I'm saying? I was an adult or whatever, and then uh, I said I joined the band in fourth grade. So okay. shit, music always been in me. I started off with the drums. You know what I'm saying? A snare drum, like bass drum. And when I got to high school, I learned how to play the uh, keyboards and shit, like okay. the vibraphone, the marimba, you know, xylophone, and all that stuff like that. So marching and parading, and we was real good. We always won competitions. You know, I stayed normally high school, so we That's always it. won. You know what I'm saying? Like. The May Day parades, you know what I'm saying? Like we won the competitions, doing solo, big ensembles, and all that shit. So it always been in me. But then you know, uh, I started writing probably like 2014, 2015. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't really dropping yet. And then like tw late 2015, you know what I'm saying? I started dropping with him, 70 or whatever. Really, my nigga pushed the devil. You know what I'm saying? We started off uh, with a phone, a PS3. He had an iPhone, like an iPhone 4, <laughs> a fucking PS3, and I had my Android, and we all hook it up to the TV. Know what? what I'm saying? Play the man, play the play the beat through the TV. Put the iPhone up to the TV. You know what I'm saying? We spitting. You know what I'm saying? We got bass treble and all that shit on all the songs. That was <laughs> that was a real start. But then like I said we went to uh, college and shit. They had a little studio upstairs. Oh. And shit, that's where I got my real start in the booth at. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. 
So does anyone else in your family do music? Were you the first one to pick up at it? Kind of the first one. Okay. First one, yeah. Everybody else, they kind of just like, you know what I'm saying, in the books or whatever, or just in the streets or whatever like that. I was the first one to be like, all right, you know what I'm saying, let me put something down on wax. Yeah. Now, do you have any siblings, or are you the only kid? Or? Oh, I got uh, I got five siblings. Okay. Uh, I got one older brother, and then I got four sisters. Oh, wow. Yeah. So do you always feel like you got to look out for your sisters hell and all yeah, that? Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, of course. Yeah, man. Yeah, hell yeah. All right. Yeah, they, I'm the youngest, but they all kind of look up to me, though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what was your relationship like with your pops? Man, real as a motherfucker. He just passed away uh, last year, July oh, 10th. Really? Yeah, Sorry long live my dirty, man. Yeah, my nigga, man. But... I say up to the end, my dog, you know what I'm saying? It's ain't who we say dirty, that's my man ain't dirty, or whatever like that. Yeah, he was cool as a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? I said, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, the only one I'm on camera, like I said, dudes don't need their daddies in their life. So, you know what I'm saying? Like all this weak ass, keeping they, we're keeping away from their daddies and all that shit. I never went through none of that one bird. So, yeah. shout out my bird, my mama, you know what I'm saying? For not blocking him or, you know what I'm saying? Him not trying to stay away and all that shit like that. So, it, it, was, it was a big factor. You know what I'm saying? I would say that. Big, 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 real, real big factor. Yeah, no, that's solid right there. Yeah, yeah. And do you got any kids yourself? No, nah, not yet. I want okay. something. I want like 50, 50 of them, something like that. You say 50? Yeah, hell is up. Well, you better start now. Yeah. <laughs> like all races, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like Chinese, mixed Chinese, fucking Arabs, you know what I'm saying? All that shit. Yeah, yeah. So you mentioned going to college. What college did you go to? Oh, I heard stuff State University. Okay. I just, I just graduated May Just 6th. graduated, right? Yeah. Hell yeah, with a uh, Bachelor of Arts. Congrats, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, so first off, how would you describe that college experience for you, man? Man, it, it took a minute, man. I graduated high school in 2015, man. And, uh, it took me all the way up from 2015 to, to 23, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So like I said, I, it, I was bullshit, you know, whatever, going through my shit in the streets and then doing this, doing that, trying to mature and all that shit. So it was it was a good-ass experience. Fine women down there, good teachers, you know what I'm saying, good environment. It was HBCU, too, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah. A lot of culture there, right? Yeah, there. a lot of culture. Yeah. Yep. So, you know, how proud of yourself are you that you was able to accomplish that? Thing? Hella proud. Like I said, it's a, it's a bachelor's. There ain't no associates. and ain't yeah. no, you know what I'm saying, certificate or nothing like that. It's a straight degree. You know what I mean? So I'll be able to go, you know what I'm saying, at least flex to my kids. I'm mean, like, yeah, you can go and do this. Or when I graduated, it went viral around St. Louis. You know what yeah. I mean? To where, like, oh, yeah, this dude blowing up rapping. Then he just graduated. It gave hope to people. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah you can go in. You can do both things, or you can just go ahead and blow up. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you're doing. Yeah. No, yeah I yeah. love to hear artists when they say, like, man, I just went ahead and, you know, still graduated, too. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like, you know, that false neg you know, narrative that a lot of people push that yeah, school's yeah. whack, school's lame, and nah, shit like it, that. it wasn't whack at all, man. It, it was totally worth it. You know what I'm saying? Walk across that stage, I got a little emotion, you know what I'm saying? Fuck my tears back the whole ceremony. Oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah. that's what's up, man. Congrats again on that, man. Right on. Um, you know, I understand that you had to battle some drug addiction as well, though. Hell yeah, man. Oh, shit. When I say I had probably, I was doing, always, I've been smoking since about like six, seven, eight grade, you know what I'm saying, weed or whatever. But like I said, I got to high school, uh, tried my first couple pills or whatever, you know what I'm saying, you know how you fall in love with the shit. Hmm. You know what I'm saying, it would start off like Viking and Percocets type shit like that. But then, uh, <clears throat> probably like 2018 or like 2017, I popped my first X pill, you hmm. know what I'm saying, that was some shit I had never experienced before. You oh, know what I'm saying, I fell in love with it, you know what I mean, so shit, that shit ended up, you know what I'm saying, bringing me down. Then I started trying to jug the shit, so I had, a big, a big amount of them motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? So I had that to my access, you know what I'm saying? So shit, I went crazy, you know what I mean? Uh, and that was my drug of choice, ecstasy. So that's why I ended up going to rehab for, you know what I'm saying? 2020, you know what I'm saying? During the pandemic, you know what I'm talking about? Shit, I was able to graduate from that shit, you know what I'm saying? Kick it out of my life, you know what I mean? I ain't shit, I ain't got high sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? I still be smoking the weed, but I don't even smoke weed no more, man. I be smoking the CBD. Oh, for real? Hell yeah, man. Huh. Hell yeah. What does CBD be doing for you, man? Oh, it, it just mellow you out. Okay. You know what I mean? Because I, I had called a little case or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get off probation right now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I hope when I get back, I'll be off. You know what I'm saying? Early, early termination or whatever. But uh, I called a little case during the pandemic and shit. So, you know what I mean? Uh, my PO told me she'd give me an early release if I give her a clean drop. Yeah. So yeah. I stopped smoking for probably like four months now. So, That's shit. It. I only need it no more, I feel like. You know what I mean? But the CBD would keep me. You know what I'm saying, mellow. Okay. You know what I'm saying, it's nice. Yeah, good uh, medical, uh, like medicine, like medicinal mm -hmm. purposes too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, that's dope right there, man. So, like going back to you know the, the X, was there ever like a time? What was the breaking point for you to where it was like, all right, I got to go ahead and get this shit handled? Man, uh, beefing with my mama and my sisters, man. Then uh, seeing how that shit was affecting my daddy and shit. You know what I'm saying? He was like, damn, my boy getting caught up in the streets. And uh, you know what I'm saying? My mama, she had kicked me out or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And shit, I was just. 
you know what I'm saying? I was just going through it, man. I ain't want to go through it no more, man. And then, like I said, you, you get so paranoid, you know what I'm saying? You either going to fuck somebody up who don't got to get fucked up, or, you know what I'm talking about? And my daddy told me that. He was just like, John, boy, you're going to get to prison, and you're going to sober up and be like, damn, you had to do what the fuck you did. So that stuck with me, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, man, I need to make a change or whatever, man. So I was just like, I just didn't want to be high no more, man. And I was, your heart feels a certain way when you off that shit, man. I'm, it was days I was just praying like, damn, God, just, let me make it to tomorrow, and I stop. You know what I'm saying? My heart beating so fucked up. You know what I'm saying? My legs getting cold. You know what I'm saying? I can't feel my legs and shit. And I'm thinking like, damn, I don't want to be no uh, young overdose or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of overdose in St. Louis. Yeah, yeah. Everywhere right now, yeah, unfortunately, man. Because yeah, yeah. you don't know what they cutting this shit with. Yeah, man. and that's what it was, man. You know, actually supposed to be MDMA and uh, caffeine. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But shit, man. Like I said, when I caught my case. They ran them motherfuckers through the uh, through the lab, yeah. and they had meth in it, man. So they no charge me with meth, man. So, God yeah, damn, man. So like I said I could have been on meth the whole time, you know. Yeah, not you know, even knowing it. Right, man. and that's why it was fucking me up so bad. You know what I mean? So, True. yeah, yeah, I, mean, I was able to kick that shit out, man. I I got three years recovery now. So like I said, I, Absolutely. if I go back, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I just fuck up all that three years. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I got to start all over. So it's like a one. I don't want to get high no more. Then I want to fuck my clean time up. Nah, definitely, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, at what point did you start releasing music yourself? Then was it uh, when you started hitting like the real studio? Or no, nah, well, shit, 2015. It, that okay. was, we we all SoundCloud baby, so it's like, <laughs> yeah, like 2015. You know what I'm saying? Like that real deal SoundCloud wave. You know what I'm saying? Shout out SoundCloud. I mean, whoever created SoundCloud, shout out, shout out, man. But well, it was they, like they, they had that platform for yeah. everyone. Anyone could go on there and upload their music. Yeah, man. yeah. And then you can record on that motherfucker. You can upload mm -hmm. it. It's crazy. So. That's what we started doing, you know what I'm saying? I'm all, uh, I said that was 2015, but then like, I want to say like 2016, 2017, we started taking like real, real serious or whatever. Okay. Once we started showing people our music and shit, they was just like, man, that shit hard. Okay. You know what I mean? Everybody we showed it to, they was just like, man, we got to do something, we got to do something, you know what I'm saying? Trying to say we all, like we was good at it or whatever. So we was like, man, we want to go on and take it serious, man. Then uh, like I said, I started getting traction probably like 2020. Okay. You know what I mean? So shit, I was just like, man, I ain't no turning back now. Yeah. Yeah. And how do we get the name Rock and John? Oh, I started off as uh, John fucking Proud. That's my name. Huh. You know what I'm saying? John Proud. So I started off as John fucking Proud, and I changed over to, uh, I shouted Black Toys 9, uh, Miller with G2 for the first time. Not, you know what I'm saying? I don't know hot shit, nothing, but I was like, oh, damn, okay. So I started calling myself Black Toys 9. You know what I'm saying? Then uh, I watched this Detroit gang documentary about the best friends of uh, Detroit and shit. And uh, it was this dude named Rock and Ridge. You know what I'm saying? He was. You know what I'm saying? A murderous, murderous motherfucker or whatever. And I was just like, damn, that's hard, Rockin' Ridge. So I was just like, man, I should call myself Rockin' John. You know what I'm talking about? Not like I, you know what I'm saying? None of that and that shit like that. But, you know what I'm saying? I was like, that's hard. You yeah. know what I mean? So I started calling myself uh, Black Toys 9, Rockin' John, John, John and Don. You know what I'm saying? Then after a while, like I said, it was kind of like a graduation. I'm like, Black Toys 9, he dead or he died off. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really, I don't do what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Black Toys 9 used to do. So I'm like, shit. I stuck with the Rock and John. Then John, 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 he really for the hoes. You know what I'm saying? He's a smooth, cool nigga. You know what I'm talking about? So Rock and John, he got me through, you know what I'm saying? All type of shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's he a tough nigga. Okay. So how would you describe this music journey you've been on since 2016 then? Man, it's it been fun. It been, it been actually smooth. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we uh we, we had like showcases to where we lost to the, you know what I'm saying? I said we lost to like weak ass motherfuckers. You know what I'm talking about? Like no bullshit, man. We lost to like some straight, Peon ass motherfuckers, man. <laughs> like, shout out them, though. Motherfuckers who won't even rap no more. Like, yeah. we wanna do showcases, paying our little $50, you know what I'm saying, to perform or whatever, sell $100 here, you know what I'm saying, to perform and all that shit like that. And we straight losing to like punk ass motherfuckers, man. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers who ain't got no motion like right now. You know what I mean? We're just like 2017, 2018. So that was. Do you feel like it was rigged or? Rigged, man. You know what I'm saying? All these motherfuckers, like, we going to the local clubs. It's like, shout out to the Mystic, man. Yeah, it ain't the Mystic no more. But like I said, we go to the Mystic. The ambassador, you know what I'm saying, downtown, you know what I'm saying, doing smoke sessions and shit like that. So, your shit was cool, man. It just, it wasn't like, I think like we wasn't getting like looked at like we supposed to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers was just, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers come to us like on the slide, but like, man, we appreciate what y'all doing, man. But nah, it was just like, we want to get like, you know what I'm saying, our full dick sucked, if you want to say. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers just want to kiss the tip or something like that. You know what I'm saying? For <laughs> <laughs> real though, man. It was fucking us up, man, because we like, man, we hard. You know what I'm saying? Nobody ain't saying what the fuck I was saying. Still now, to this day, motherfucker ain't saying what the fuck I'm saying, man. Motherfucker wasn't really bold and belligerent on the track like I am, you know what I'm saying? Or raging like him. Or, yeah, well, he said, motherfucker be trying. You know what I'm talking about? 
Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? Then my fucker ain't coming like him. Now he used to rap too. He more like a background nigga, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we all, man, one fucker wasn't coming like us, man. You know, a lot of ups and downs with any journey, man. Yeah. Did you ever feel like giving up with this shit or? Man, uh, yeah, 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 nay. You know what I'm saying? Like doing my, um, I want to say like music kind of saved my life, man. So I said 2020, March 2020, I dropped my snippet to, to my song, I Walk Fast. That was like during the pandemic or whatever. But like I said, during that time, like I'm, at the precipice of my drug addiction though. Like I'm real deal like fucked up. Then I had a drop foot at the time, so my right foot wasn't even working. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, so I did the snippet with my foot in the bucket on my trailer. You know what I'm talking about? So I had my foot in the bucket soaking because you know what I'm saying? I had sciatica and all that shit from, you know what I'm saying? My bad health habits, it's 23. I was 23 at the time. So okay. like I said, man, uh, so my whole reason why I went to rehab, why well, I ain't say I should said it earlier, but no, nah, I mean like the snippet took off, but it was just like, man, I was so fucked up. I can't even get the real video out there. Oh, shot, shit. you know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, damn, man, I'm, I'm, I'm literally like that fucked up to where I got this big opportunity, you know what I'm saying? And I'm fucking it up, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm getting high, running around the streets all day, you know what I'm saying? Not doing what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing, you know what I mean? So when I told my people at rehab, my counselors and shit, I'm like, man, look, back in St. Louis, you know what I'm saying? I got some shit going on, you know what I'm saying? I need to get back to, so, you know what I mean? I went and got myself together when I got back, you know what I'm saying? It was, you know what I'm saying, off to the races. And that's the snippet that blew up on Say Cheese? Or? No, no, uh, that's the song that blew up. I, yeah, I dropped it on Say Cheese. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But no, my snippet was on like like 25 seconds long, man. But oh, okay. I, I dropped that motherfucker, man. I'm talking about everywhere I was going after that. Okay. Everybody was saying, oh, man, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's you know, March 2020, man. You know what I'm saying? Then shit. You know what I mean? I did end up dropping it on Say Cheese, man. That motherfucker did like, I want to say, damn that two million views. You know what, oh, what I'm saying? Shit. My I Walk Fast song, y'all. That's major, man. Yeah, yeah, man. And I ain't seen nobody do that, don't say cheese, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what's up, man. Did that catch you off guard, or did you expect that? Because you had the response from the trailer, or? Well, well, I had the response to St. Louis, you know what I'm saying? So I knew, like, okay, I take this shit global, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, I knew I knew what to get, like, a good response. Then, like I said, motherfuckers ain't, motherfuckers ain't rapping about walking fast. Motherfuckers out here talking about, <laughs> they sliding a Forgiato, you know what I'm saying? All that shit, they sliding. This GT and all that shit like that. No, like, it's real deal. Like, it's like the song come from, you know what I'm saying? I was out, you know what I'm saying, jugging or whatever one day, you know what I'm saying, around the way and, uh, at the local train station or whatever. Uh, I asked them motherfuckers if they need some loud or whatever they had on the regular clothes, but I ain't noticed that it was a plain cold clock. You oh, know what shit. I'm saying? Yeah, tripping, man. He had the big uh, baggy dickies on with the cargoes and all that shit, man. I'm thinking this is regular motherfucker. I'm like, man, what's up, OG? You need the loud? His homeboy went over, radioed in to the police station or whatever, was like two minutes away and shit. So I'm like, damn, I'm fucked up. You know what I mean? So I ended up walking. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Running and that shit. So I see I got away or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually, motherfucker come, came and got me. You know what I'm saying? I'm walking down. She's like, hey, you running? And I'm like, yeah, man. They ain't up. Take me to my bird career, man. And I was able oh, to. For real. Shout out to that person, yeah, man. You know what I'm talking about? Lucky as hell, man. I tossed my weed and some other shit, man. I was able to go back and get it and shit, but. Yeah, man, now nah, it was that. So I went home that day, wrote that motherfucker, you know the what I'm saying? The same day? That same day. Oh, shit. Hell yeah, I walked fast. Hell them sweet with they might blast. Now I was always a walker, man. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I was like, shit, I'll or walk or be on my bike. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't never really had like too many whips. And then I was in they whips, his whip and shit like that. But I ain't never really had no, you know what I'm saying, too many of them motherfuckers. So it was just a true, true ass song. Yeah. Then, like, well, it was funny to some motherfuckers, though. So the comedy of it, I guess took off, but then the real, this motherfucker was like, damn, so nigga, somebody back keeping it real, you know mm -hmm. what I mean, so. Yeah, because I remember seeing a lot of the comments, like, man, finally someone made a song for me. Yeah. I'll be walking fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, you know what I'm saying, that's big time. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what had happened between you and Say Cheese recently? Man, it was some, it was just some, some weak ass shit, man. Like I said, when I spent down there 7,000 on promo, you know what I'm saying, sure. it, they, they regular post is 695, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, then they got like a, like a 1250 and like a 1450, you know what I'm saying? That you can pay, get your shit expedited. So yeah. I was always paying my first one, for all my fans, I paid the, the, the 1250 okay. and get my shit expedited. And then dropped on my birthday, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. them motherfuckers ended up taking off, you know what I'm saying? Like that. But then I, I posted probably down there 10 more times at the 695 rate, you know what I'm saying? So that was hella bread size, so man. So I'm thinking like we done built some type of rapport or some type of relationship or something like that. So when they dropped my shit and they said I was some nigga from Rhode Island, you know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, they put the wrong caption with yeah, your video? Yeah, from Providence, Rhode Island, all oh, this so and so and so dropped this song. I'm just like, damn, y'all bogus for that. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't say like, man, y'all some bitch ass nigga trying to call you a fag ass nigga. I ain't say nothing like that. Or I ain't like, V, you, you a dyking ass bitch, nothing like that. But I ain't say none of that. 
I just said, yeah, bogus, man. I sent them an email like, man, that's bogus, man. What's up, man? Like, I spent all this money with y'all. I get that wrong. They hit me back with the, um, we fixing it now. Since you didn't give us a chance to fix it, we think this should be your last promo on, on, on our page. Thanks. With the exclamation part at the end. I'm just like. Damn. Yeah. Never apologized or nothing? They, they ain't apologize. You know what I'm saying? They ain't give me a chance to. They ain't give me a chance to apologize. They ain't no, apologize. I'm saying that they should have apologized. Right. They should have right. wrong pay, I'm paying my hard earned money. I ain't, you know what I'm talking about? I ain't out here trapping or nothing like that. I'm putting my hard work on money. You know what I'm saying? On to, for promo, because I'm taking my career serious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then, like I said, I, I, it was only one dude, shot Clooner from uh, former to Michigan. You know what I'm saying? He the only one I seen that was like consistent on that page. You know what I mean? Everybody else, they just trying to blow up. You know what I'm saying? They get this yeah. one post up here, then I'm from the raw up until sunset. You know what I'm saying? I'm posting it. I ain't go three or four weeks without posting on that page. So I'm so, thinking like they, we done built that rapport. And then my, my, I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Well, my lowest one was probably like 300,000. I'm doing 300,000 to 700,000 to a million every time. So I'm like, I don't think one fucking know, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But like I said, we ain't spoke since then, though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't all like an ass kisser, but I ain't know how I'm a stool type nigga, though. I said, we see each other, I'll be like, damn, what happened? But I ain't gonna know y'all the only platform out here, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But it was cool, you know what I'm saying, why it lasted, but you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. Like, I don't know, they could have, they could have, you know what I'm saying? I don't think it was Shine running the page that day. I don't know. Because yeah. y'all got to staff y'all damn stuff, you know what I mean? So, ain't no telling, man, you know what I'm saying? But ain't no, ain't no ill will towards them, no, man. Shout out, say cheese, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? That was some weak ass shit though, man. You know what I'm saying? Some weak ass. And I guess like what uh, what uh, Gilly say is watch who you're feeling on the way up and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like I said, I ain't want to. I had a diss song coming, but like I said, it's I ain't. Towards say cheese. Yeah, really? but I ain't like. But like I said, man, you know, people that be dog, man, don't fuck with him no now. He can drop a diss song to say cheese. You know, I ain't like I ain't want that that to affect me when I get up. You know what I'm saying? To the yeah. big stage. You know what I'm saying? Like motherfucker, like, oh no, man, we can't fuck with him because that. You know what I mean? Motherfucker got that power to do some weak ass shit like that. So I'm just like, man, I just let it go. You know what I'm saying? I moved on. Shout out college kid, uh, Blast. I was going to say, you know, you, you promo with a lot of different yeah. pages too. Man. Yeah, yeah. So like I said, man, y'all, shout out, shout out, man. Like I said, man, I ain't too much fucked up over it. But like, it was good while it lasted. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? But no, ain't no ill will to a say cheese, man. It's just, that was some weak ass shit. You know what I'm saying? My, uh, the whole St. Louis had my back, though. So if I would have dropped the diss song, like I said, Sean would have been in some trouble. You know what I'm talking about? So like, I wasn't finna be like, oh, man, fuck say cheese, fuck V. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the whole platform. I wasn't finna do all that. Yeah. Know what I mean, but shout out say cheese, you know what I'm saying? Again, ain't no ill will, man. It just that shit was lame. It's still lame to this day. You know what I'm saying? Well, I see. I, I guess I try to reach out in the future, or we see each other in person. I'll be like, you know what I'm saying? What's up? But nah, I, mean, I ain't. You know what I'm saying? I ain't too much no ass kisses though. Yeah. Yeah, I fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what, what the what the five star restaurant gonna do? They fuck my New York strip steak up. You know what I'm saying? Well, and they, that motherfucker come back and I order the whole T bone. What they gonna do? You know what I'm saying? They gonna be like, oh, hold on, sir. We got they ain't gonna be like, oh, we got my restaurant. No, I'm talking about so that's that's how I was feeling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, that's understood, I think, man. Hell yeah, yeah. Uh, let's talk about this if I ever jug again, man. This shit going viral right now. Hell yeah. Talk about, you know, the inspiration. Did you come up with the sample or did no, the producer just uh, send it to you or what? Shout out uh shout out my nigga Ren, man. Uh Randy, shout out my nigga uh Mookie, man. They from uh Birdtown, man, Berkeley up in St. Louis, man. Real uh real county dudes, man, real county pushes, man, as we say. You know what I'm saying? But nah, man, uh my cousin, she was doing my hair or whatever one day, and she she was playing a uh, real song. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, I fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, fuck, yeah, but love it. So I'm like, oh, that shit hard. So in my head, that's, she played it probably like four or five times doing my hair or whatever. So I ended up uh, saying, fuck it, man. Let me, uh, I went home that day, you know what I'm saying, that night, or like the day, the day after that, you know what I'm saying? I wrote that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Like, played them up in the background, like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. Then she, at the end of the session, you know what I'm saying? He was there, you know what I'm saying? At the end of one of the sessions, she, uh, I'm like, man, I got this one more song. Played that one off. I'm like, man, I'm finna fuck y'all up. You know what I'm saying? I told, you know what I'm saying, Randy that. So I did the first uh, And I sung that motherfucker, hit the high notes and all that shit, man. I'm like, man, if I ever just, you know what I'm saying? They was like, boom. So they was like, damn, right, hold on, man. Mookie pulled up a chair, like, man, hold on, man. They went both to the computer, man. Like, hold on, man. Yeah. Go to YouTube, get that boom, 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 boom. Chop that shit up for me and then shit. I laid my two verses, you know what I'm talking about, and shit, it was, I sat that motherfucker in there for like two months, I sat on that motherfucker for like two so months. For real? Hell yeah, I was like, man, it's cool or whatever, I'm just like, uh, but then shit, I got my, uh, my nigga Devon shot, he shot all my videos or whatever, shit, we went to a park, you know what I'm saying, I put my little, uh, my little true religion on or whatever like that shit, I got my little, you know what I'm saying, my little dance shit going and shit, 
He can't. It's really the video that made that motherfucker pop. The song hard as hell though. Yeah. Like I said what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is, if I ever jig again, if I ever touch it again, you know what I'm saying, it ain't gonna be no petty shit. You know what I'm saying? So like motherfuckers feeling like, okay, I feel that, cause niggas ain't gave up the street life. You know what I'm saying? They gonna feel that. Like, all right, yeah, if they ever do jig again, it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying, something big, not some old petty shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, it was. It wasn't no comedy behind it. It wasn't no. It was like real deal, like. You know what I'm saying? And then after that, man, I seen a whole bunch of people try to remix like R&B songs and shit, oh, man. For real? But, yeah, but like I said, Mookie Jackson, man, and, uh, Ram, man, they the ones that put like the engineering behind that motherfucker. It was just okay. gonna be me, you know what I'm saying? But then they actually put Shy on that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? And then put the, the right vocals and shit and that shit, and then I was singing like a motherfucker, man. So they put the right echoes and all that shit, man. It was crazy, man, the stew. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what type of comments have you been getting or have you been reading on this one, man? Oh, all, like, like, from what I, I see, it's like, it's like inspiration. My folks saying like, all right, like, bro, doing this shit, so he inspired me to just go out here and do this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I know a lady, she, well, a girl, I'll be, you know what I'm saying, talk to whatever. She was like, hey, you know what I'm saying? She, your confidence up like a motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? Shit like that, you know what I'm saying? But then, like, motherfuckers like, man, that shit. Of course, like a fun, like, like a little comedy sense to it, but then motherfuckers saying like, all right, damn, like shit, they get what I'm saying. Like, if be able to do again, he going for the Rico case. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so yeah, hey, man. Go big or go home, right? Go big or go home this time. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no nickel and dime, you know what I'm talking about? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been getting all, I get, I get mainly good comments, though. Like I said, niggas don't hate on me. Niggas hate on me on, the, on, on social media, but like I said, they can't catch me at the gas station. So, man, what's up, big bro? You know what I'm saying? Or they be like, man, you hard, bro. You know what I'm saying, man? Like, keep that shit going, bro. A girl be like, oh, man, I seen you, you know, boom, boom, boom. So, you know what I mean? It be all good shit, though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It don't be like no bad hate. Okay. Yeah, what yeah. about Three Wishes? What can you tell us about this one? Three Wishes? That come from Quartel MGM. Okay. You know what that is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we should post them on the blog. Man, shout out Quartel, man. I'm talking about... That's a legend. He only like 30, you know what I'm saying? We thought bro was <laughs> yeah, like Yeah, he 40. was young when he was uh, dropping that. Man, shit, man, we thought he was big, big bro, you know what I'm saying? But nah, <laughs> <laughs> no cap, man. We thought bro was straight up. No, but nah, it came from him though, man. He started his, uh, he got a song called Three Wishes. He started off his birthday uh, on rubbing on my scale, talking to my genie. I'm my first wish, can you please front me 50? And I took that, you know what I'm saying? At first when I'm saying, well, I say, uh, I'm rubbing on my phone, I'm talking to my genie on my first wish from a hundred piece to me, you know what I'm saying? So I took that first four lines and I was just like, I ran with it, you know what I'm talking about? I'm just like, that's what I do, man. It's like I said, uh, now, it ain't no stealing shit, but like I said, they say good artists, they imitate, but then yeah. great fucking excellent artists, they fucking steal. <laughs> Real deal, man. Ain't really wrong with, with being inspired by yes, someone, yeah. you, know? you know what I'm saying? But like I said, man, I used to stream this shit. I'm talking about Ray, Ray, his whole Mafia Made 2, Mafia Made 1, Pac-Man. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, all that shit, man. So, yeah, so shout out Carter. It came from him. You know okay. what I'm talking about? It came from him. Yeah, yeah. that's the it's like big inspiration from him on you know that song. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? But I still put my own little twist to it, though. Everything else I said in the song was me, though. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And what about working my shoulder with Zayto? Working with, yeah, me, uh, perception of motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I said, I only got the tag from him, I, and he went live with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, like a starter package, man. So I said, man, I ended up, uh, he talking, I think I was saying, like 1500. You know what I'm saying? He went live with me, and then shit, he uh, sent me a tag. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, Rock and John, checking mm -hmm. in. They told me, you know what I'm saying? Working my shoulder, it's a banger. You know what I'm saying? So that was, he sent that to him, I'm like, oh, okay, fuck. You know what I'm talking about? He big, like shout out to people who are professional, man. Cause I said he sent that motherfucker back the next morning. Oh, yeah. Once he got the bread, you know what I'm talking about? It was in my email. So, um, you know what I'm saying? That was, I don't know, I don't know where I get it from, man. Actually, it, everything's so real about me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't like dry shit, stuff, this and nothing. Like I said, nah, man, we had, you know what I'm saying? We thought we found like some coke one day. You know what I'm talking about? Like, that's on some humbug shit, man. I, you know what I'm saying? Hustling the loot, man. Like, you get on all type of shit in the loot, man. We thought we found some coke one day, man. We was gonna rock it up, man. Like I said, man, we went to the corner store, man, got some uh, got some baking soda or whatever, you know what I'm talking about? But it wasn't no, it wasn't no coke or nothing. But like I said, I walked in that motherfucker and I was dancing with the baking soda, you know what I'm talking about? So, yeah, yeah, man. So that's where all that come from, man. It was like a real deal situation, man. You know what I'm talking about? So like I said, it was just, you know what I'm saying? Working my shoulder. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, holding back and sold a little GS, Mr. Cola. Yeah. So, yeah. like I said, then we doing a little dance and all that shit to it. You know what I'm saying? It was, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I be, I be making just real ass songs, man. You know what 
You know what I'm saying? I just draw for my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But shout out Zay though, man. He made them up for a pop pop. And then when he went live with me, and y'all had the uh, Divine Shot put the uh, live in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So that was yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. He was fucking with my songs too, man. He just, I had a weak ass Android, man. So he couldn't really hear my song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. He couldn't really hear my song, man. But he was fucking with it though, man. Everybody was in the comments like, yeah, man. Look at shit, look at shit up, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's hard right there. So is a project on the way, or are we focus on singles and videos? Where's your focus at? Man, right now? uh, I got a I got a project on the way, Rockin' John Madden, the mixtape. You know what I'm okay. saying? Coming soon, next couple. Then within like the next month or so, you know what I'm okay. talking about? I'm gonna drop that probably like a five to ten song. You know what I'm saying? Mixtape. You know what I'm saying? Then shit, I'm about to fall time. Try to uh, drop a bigger project than that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I got songs, songs, songs in the cut, and I got shit that I ain't even recorded yet. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still writing and all that shit like that. So you know, I got some big shit coming. Gotcha. Got some shit with Project Pack coming. For real? Uh, Lil Chat. Okay. Uh, MC I see Mac. Chat be fucking with you, man. Yeah, Chat. Shout out Chat, man. MC Mac. Got some shit with MC Mac okay. coming up for three seasons. We tapped into Memphis, huh? Yeah, 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 man. So then I got some, got the whole city in my inbox, you know what I'm talking about? But like I said, man, I got to get some songs with these dudes in first before I, you know what I'm saying, feel comfortable, you know what I'm saying, letting somebody else get my buzz. You know what I'm saying? I would let these boys get it first, you know what I'm saying, before I branch out with somebody else. Okay. Mm. What's the next video you plan to drop? You got something already tucked away? Oh, the song that I did it, uh, the song that I did it, uh, Famous Animal shit, a couple of days ago. I'm gonna okay. uh, drop that one next. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, I'm gonna uh, probably like, take a couple weeks off. You know what I'm saying? Let a couple of my videos get some, get that views up and shit, run some ads or whatever. We do some yeah. better promo and shit. That's really what I'm trying to do, man. You know what I'm saying? Get my promo up and shit. And I said you gotta uh, kind of branch out once you start. I took my city over. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's what they say. You know what I'm talking about? Like they say like I'm the savior of this shit. Like. They saying like Sexy Red and all that shit. Well, I went to school with Sexy Red too. So oh, they really? saying like, yeah. So they saying like, yeah, she got it right now. I already bet them. So they doing their thing, whatever. They, everybody said they waiting on like a, you know what I'm saying, dude to come through that motherfucker like on some, you know what I'm saying, big boss shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying, do a big. So they saying it's me. You know what I'm talking about? Like I say, I'm humble. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't, I don't want to slow down. I pray to God every day that he keep you giving it to me. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, they just waiting on, you know what I'm saying, some real deal. You know what I'm saying, masculine energy come through that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But like I said, everybody, you know what I'm saying? I'm out of town, I throw them around, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all fuck with that. Then Yvette shit, she, she, she just on South Park, just made it to the Spider Man movie, mm -hmm. you know what I'm talking about? So, yeah, and then Black Yana, she just had, uh, was it JT or fucking, uh. Oh, yeah. I yeah, saw that. Young Miami uh, singing her shit on fucking live. Yeah, so that shit, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, the dudes, man, we working hard though, man. So like I said, it ain't no sexy shit going on. Like, yeah. the girls over here, you know what I'm saying? Nah, we all straight up. You know what I'm saying? Boom. One day. Understood, man. Yeah, yeah. So what's some short term, what's some long term goals you got set for yourself right now? Oh, uh, short term, uh, short term, I'm going to be 27. So I, I would like to have like some big, big, big push before you know what I'm saying, my birthday in October. So that'd be okay. like short term, but long term, uh, like I said, I want, I want to be like Nelly. You know what I'm talking about? Like motherfuckers think about the city. You know what I'm talking about? And they think about Rock and John. You know what I'm talking about? Cause like I said, they think about like Nelly and Chingy right now. So like I said, you know what I'm saying? Well, we, we look back, you know what I'm talking about? I want, you know what I'm saying? Like the little dudes, they want to continue singing my songs and shit, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, man, I'm rapping about drugs or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I, <laughs> I want them, like, I want to like, when they get old, they like 20, they be like, man, we grew up on Rock and John. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like, oh, like we be like, oh, man, we grew up on Air Force One. You know what I'm talking about? So that's why we all got our forces on, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, man, if, if I can be, uh, a Missouri staple, you know what I'm saying? A staple in Missouri to where like the whole Missouri just, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm synonymous with Missouri, like Huckleberry Finn or Mark Twain or something like that. <laughs> like the real deal, I mean, I'm going for like that real deal. Like, like I got my own highway or something. I got my own neighborhood one day. You know what I'm saying? Like no cap. Yeah. So that's, be synonymous, synonymous with Missouri. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to do. Not just St. Louis. No, I got you, man. Yeah, yeah. And what's some advice you would share to the youth coming up right now? Oh, uh, get out the streets, man. What Boosie say? Don't become a street nigga, man. Like I said it almost killed me. You know what I'm saying? Then uh, I'm glad Snowfall ended the way it did, cause that's how it ended for me. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, uh, like Franklin he ended up fucked up on the streets, and he was all he had all this, but he ended up down like this. That's how it happened for me. So like I said, you either gonna die, go to jail, or you end up like Franklin off Snowfall. You know what I'm talking about? Walking around the hood. Crazy as hell, tweaking out, you know what I'm saying, doing all stupid shit. Everybody like, oh damn, this nigga's fuck hole back in the day, you stack money, but now look at him. You know what I'm saying? You either gonna be that or you gonna die, go to jail. So that's like you just sit down, man, go to college, man, go to trade school, man, become a fucking HVAC man or something like that, plumbing man, or you know what I'm saying, well do what y'all doing, man, build y'all a platform, man, and 
push the youth or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, man, then I said one day I want to be one something like you You know what I'm saying? Coming through, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, just come on, little bro. I got you. Put it on camera. I'm going to push you. You know what I'm saying? Like, use my influence, you know what I'm saying, to help you out. You know what I mean? So I said if I can do that one day, you know what I'm saying? That'd be great. You know what I'm saying? When I said I was in school for being a teacher, though. You know what I'm saying? But then I caught my case. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't uh, be around kids like that, so I had to change my major and all that shit. So it, it still limited me, though, to help kids and shit. So like I said, I mean, I'm going to be helping them out one day. You know what I'm saying? When I said the music just going to help me get some money or whatever to where I can do it. Yeah, use it as a stepping stone. Yeah. I dig that, man. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm trying to uh, implement, like, more positive shit in my raps or whatever. Like, rap about my drug addiction, rap about, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, all the good shit that I got going. Like I said, it went viral in St. Louis when I graduated. Everybody was on my dick. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck. Good reasons, though. Like, man, this yeah. dude straight up and did the damn thing. You know what I mean? So, yeah, if I just keep that up, you know what I mean? That'd be good. But message to the youth, man. Just get out the streets, man. That's all. That's really on the wrong thing the young niggas doing, man. They smart as hell, man. He, he used to be a teacher, just, you know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. So, yeah, he tell you. A lot about these youngsters, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, man, nah, they, all they doing wrong is just thugging, man. They, they kids just like everybody, man. Even though they got their little grown shit going on, man, they still a young body, still young mind. Even young girls, still young body, still young mind, you know what I mean? So it's just the streets, man. Yeah. They just leave the streets alone, man. Like, get all the way done been done for you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got somebody who died from their family from the streets, who the OD or who in jail for long amounts of time or Niggas who 50 years old, but they've been locked up for 30 years out their life. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's shit like that, man. Every family got that, man. So, is it everybody not already done the fuck shit? Well, like I said, man, go do some good shit. That'll be my message to you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. wise words right there. Yeah, man. yeah, man. It ain't, it ain't worth it, man. Real it ain't sick. worth it. You're going to get it. Like, like what Boochie said, you're going to get out the streets one day. You're going to be like, damn. You're going to look back at everything you've done, everything you've seen, man. It's going to fuck you up. <laughs> Real yeah, shit. Yeah. It's going to fuck you up. Yeah. All right. Do you guys shout outs you like to get before we wrap it up here, Jeff? Man, uh, man, shout out to my nigga, shout out to my nigga Seven O for staying down with me. Shout out to my nigga Fuego for staying down with me. Shout out to my nigga Northside for staying down with me. Uh, shout out to my manager Ezo, you know what I'm talking about? He couldn't come because of some uh, legal issues. Shout out to my boy Play They Strong, why he couldn't come because of some legal issues. Shout out my boy Easy. Shout out my boy Dead in LG. Shout out my boy Donnie. Shout out my boy Quiz. Uh, shout out everybody in Northwoods. Parkside, long live all the Parkside dudes, man. Shout out my boys in Paysville. Long, long live all the Folkside niggas in Paysville. Uh, long live my cousins, man. Long live my uncles, man. Long live my daddy, man. Shit, shout out to my bird, man. Shout out to all my sisters, man. I got y'all. Shout out to the old St. Louis, but shit, shout out to the old Missouri. Got Missouri on my own, got Missouri on my teeth. You know what I'm talking about? So shit, shout out, man. Shout out everybody showing love, man. Shout out to the haters, man. You know what I'm saying? That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. But yeah, shout out to Paisley, shout out to Northwoods, man. North, North St. Louis, South St. Louis, West Side, East Side, Downtown, man. St. Charles. Shit, shout out to the whole, <laughs> shout out to the whole Metropolitan St. Louis area, man. Hell yeah, man. Big bag of beans, geek sampling. Phone jumping trampoline, we tryna shave up the green. I say big bag of beans.